Hey everyone, this is Poly22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate Complete. In the last episode, we went ahead and finished up the Zenithi Temple, we uh, got went ahead and got the Diadem, so we're all set for that, while well, we, we figured out how to use it properly, I should say, and chant, spoke the words for the uh, spell there for the Diadem, and now we're going to be on our way to Valdrace by heading on to the ship. So, without further ado, let's board. Which destination? Hmm, only one. Valdrace, let's do it. When we get close enough to their shores, we will have to put our trust in the Diadem that we will reach their dock without alerting the border patrols. You worry too much, Amagus. When we are close enough, we will invoke upon the Diadem and their appearances will be disguised. Let us hope your faith in the Diadem is well founded, Sapphire. For if not, this may be the shortest trip in history. You know, you are all real confidence boosters here. Really? <laughs> nice. Let's get the move on, Magus. With the Inferni Diadem now activated, you will no longer have to battle on the seas. Hooray! Excellent! So off we go to Valdrace. Nice, effective music here, I, I, if I have to say. The DDM is working! Uh-oh. The DDM may be working on us, but our damn ship is being torn apart by the barrier. Mages! Stay focused. We will have to discard the remainder of the ship once we get close enough to shore. Perfect. So we got no encounters on the ship, but we lost the ship. Perfect. Anyway, as you can see by our character model there, we are now looking like a soldier. So, that is useful. However, we, st we still have a battle meter in the area, so... We you take what you can get. Anyway, this is the northern outpost. We can talk with the townsfolk here. Let's do that. We should not underestimate the strength of our enemy. Hmm, it's a launching pad, eh? Hmm. Heading south will bring you to the Valdracian Mountains. If you were to cross over them, it would take you straight to the castle. And that's that'll be your next destination. Let's go into here. This is the armory. We get a mithril mail. Nice. An intellect boost, which I'll take. We get a mithril bow as well. Excellent. Got a spark scroll. Putting some nice treasures here. Let's equip the mithril mail. It's a pure defensive increase, which I'll take. And put the mithril bow on as well. That's a pretty good strength increase for her. And increases intellect by two. Very good. Let's use the intel intellect boost. Let's put that on... Hmm, who should I give it to? Isis or Zyria? Either one's really not a bad thing. Not a bad move. We're going to do Isis. Because I think I mentioned before, she will get a spell later on in the game that will make her very, very useful in battle. Let's go around the center building there, see what else we can find. Long live Veldris and King Gaston. Hmm. Several secret passages in the castle. Hmm, have to keep that in mind, perhaps. See if that turned out to be good information. That the great Galena Grey of Larcia has been brought to the castle and confined there. It's about time. Well, that's not good. Got a full ether and an elixir. Excellent. Let's go inside. This is the command for it. I cannot wait to invade Kizareth. Those fools will not know what hit them. Mages isn't happy. Mages, calm yourself. Killing that one will not help will not help us any. Yeah, it won't help us really at all. Hmm. Hmm, oh 
Okay. Anyway, we got the an armor shop. Let's take advantage. Let's get two mithril shields. We should have enough steering coins for all of our purchases at, the, purchases at this point. Two mithril mails. Or mithril helms, rather. One more mail, because we already got one from the treasure chest. Uh, let's see. Mithril ring. It gives resistance to paralyze and stun. Both of them very uh, annoying status ailments, so I would ref definitely recommend getting two of those. Gauntlets. I guess get two of those as well. Valdration attire, get two of those. And two ward hoods as well. So that's a lot of stuff right there. And weapons, let's see. Get two mythal blades. And the mythal staff. Wow, we're under 10,000 staring coins with all those purchases. Let's put everything on right now. Mythal blade, shield, helmet. You already got the mail. Gauntlet. Staff. Hood. Attire. Ring. Blade. Shield. Helmet. Armor. Gauntlet. Hood. Attire. Now, at this point, you could put the ring on, and it is definitely a pretty good defensive increase. However, the in, in, the intelligence or intellect stat does go down by a fair bit. It goes down by like eight. So right now, if you want to do some magic damage, she's gonna be the one to do it. I still prefer to keep the bracelet on, so we can do that. Let's go ahead and sell all our, all of our excess. We let's see. Keep one mythal ring, I guess. Get keep one of the circlets. We don't need the blaze robes anymore. We can sell one of the tiefling rings. Sell the armors, the shields, the helmets. We can keep the gauntlets, I guess. We'll keep one of those. We don't need the katana no more. Or the Bane's Promise. Or the Thunderstaff. Or the Thunder Blade. Or the Wrapped Bow. Just like that, we got like almost 25,000 coins again. I'm gonna get two more high potions to make it a nice, nicer number. Same thing for the mid potions. Same thing for the ethers. Same thing for the antidotes and the ambrosias. The scrolls, I guess, they can be useful, but I'm not gonna buy them in the stores at this point. Get four shards. That's pretty good there. So let's see what else we can find in this little fort. And a nice salve. There's nothing up in the up, upper left, but I believe there's one, something up here. Yes, got a mega ether. Very nice. Yep, uh, let's see. Nope, don't need to buy anything here at the, uh, or don't need to use the end at this point. And nothing else here, so that concludes our business here at the fort. So let's go ahead and head on south to see if we can get through to Valdrace, shall we? Now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's continue south. Only one real way to go here, and that's through the mountain path. Valdration Mountains. Entry. Alright, let's go forth. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's like a hop effect. I like that. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Yeah, a lot of these areas just kind of loop around, so... But you gotta go all around and make sure you find all the treasures. Blind, love it though, things don't work. Uh oh. We got Emerald Hornets and a Cockatrice! No Cockatrices! I hate Cockatrices. Anyway, let's use Arcane Thunder. For Isis, what should she do? Well, she could revitalize, rejuvenate, because. I suppose I could have did detox as well, but oh well.
I think Thunder's a good way to go for these enemies here. Yeah, these guys are like almost dead. Regular attack should do now. Yep. They just gained a level. Hooray! Got over 1,500 experience, almost 1,300 stern coins. Nice! Skills acquired, Electric Hell. Yes, this is one of the first skills that we saw right back in episode 1 of the game. Magus at Matrix actually reacquired your skill healing from before. Excellent. I will show it off in the upcoming fight. First, let's heal, shall we? And Isis is close to our level herself. Got a mid ether, I'll take it. Alright, let's see if we can show off that new skill we just learned. Electric Hell, although it does cost 25 MP, so you gotta be careful of that. Very nice! Aw, oh, come on, it didn't kill her? It didn't kill the bee? And the poison get her effect as well, of course. Had to, had to target Sapphire, didn't you? Isis gained a level, hooray! And she learned the new skill, Tornadic Fury. Very nice indeed. And we got an Enderdo. Let's put that to use. Let's heal up as well. Yeah, this is basically an upgrade to Airblade. Deals major wind damage to all enemies. So enemy enemies who aren't weak who, who are who aren't strong against wind, that's a that'd be a good spell to use. This isn't her ultimate spell by any means, though, for a uh, magical attack. So, just kind of keep that in mind for later. Anyway, go south, because you don't want to forget this treasure here. A Crystal Shard. Excellent. So, if you haven't been stockpiling them, it's good to have. Ooh, we got a new enemy there. A Werewolf. Let's see. Thunderous. Not good, because that will heal him. Also eliminating Electric Hell. Well, let's see. Because that says lightning damage, this is energy. Okay, that still works. I would assume this is the same idea as Shockwave. It is indeed. Okay, so it is like an energy thing, and non-elemental. Non so, that's good to know. Very nice. Nope, no more treasures. Aw. Alright, we go north, and we are now at the Valdration Mountains, the summit. Nothing really of note here. Got some treasures there, though. Come on, all targeting Zeria. Let's see how this does. Nice! So yeah, all of our characters now have pretty good multi-targeting attacks. So... That's going to help us a lot for random encounters. And even boss fights too. Got a full ether. And a high potion. I'll take it. More of the hornets. Well, how about fire? Not really that effective. But yeah, that tornado fury does cost 20 MP to use, so yeah, it's just gonna 
put a strain on her healing capabilities somewhat. I noticed that because he's got darkness to, uh, affliction right now, um, he was actually hurt, well, not hurt, but his attack missed with the electric hell ability. So I got, again, I mentioned before, just keep that in mind. So Zerio's almost got a level. But a fighter or two shall have that next level. We'll see if she learns any new abilities. This is the Valdration Mountains, the Descent. Ooh, three cockatrices. Let's kill them. I don't know if this will work. It might heal them. Nope. At least it didn't heal. That's good. Good. That should finish them. Yep. Oh, so close to a level. Come on. At least we get a Phoenix Feather for our for winning. Two werewolves. Figara. How about Cole? That works. How about this? Will, will all wind work on them? Yes, indeed. That should give Zeria her level. And she got Wrath. Hmm, very nice. And Sapphire is so close to getting a level, too. And look at the Isis is almost like out of MP. Let's see. Skills. Wrath. Powerful Blitz of Anger st strikes a random enemy. Look at that MP cost of 30 MP to use it. So, it's basically an upgraded version of Fury. I will show it off, though, shortly. But notice here, after you get about halfway down, the battle meter actually stops filling up which means we're almost at the end of the area. And indeed, there is the Crystal Shard. I'm going to utilize it. Or, I keep saying Crystal Shard. This is the regular Crystal, and use the Shard to heal up on her MP. At this point, before um, there was the bot, there was a Guardian right there. So at this point, since I am indeed so close to leveling up for uh, Sapphire there, when did you fight away? I'm going to do the off-screen viewers to get her the next level, and I'll be right back. Alright viewers, I'm back, and again, as I predicted, only took two fights to get her to level, and in doing so, she learned another fire spell, Ignaza. Excellent! And that spell, let's have a look at it, shall we? It is cost 50 MP, so it's by far the most costly spell to use. However, it is basically a massive fire damage to all enemies, as it says there. So, yeah, that's... For enemies who are weak against fire, that's going to be deadly. So, that's good to have. So, I figure that I want to go for the level, make sure I get the new skill. Use a shard again to heal up. And again, save your game. And let's talk to the Guardian. Hail to King Gaston, we seek to pass. Pathetic soldiers. Do you not know your post by now? Very well. You'll give me the password. Magus, what the hell's the password? I do not know. We are in big trouble. You will answer. Now. We got four options. Valtrace, Kisareth, Gaston, and Zexor. I will let you know right now that no matter what one you choose, it's wrong. Imposters! You must be the warriors we are warned about. The diadem's glow is dissipating. We got this far. We'll have to get to the castle without the aid of the diadem. Emperor mages on this cadre. I have been hoping for just such an encounter as this. I'm Sultatan, High Mage of Aldrace. 
your deaths are at hand. Time for another ass to die. Boss time! Thunder ass. Uh, I've had worse damage. Anyway, let's see what Wrath can do. Hmm, I'll take it, 1600 damage. Now, in this case, Electric Hell, I guess it could work for against him. Uh, let's do it. Because it is by far his most powerful attack. Now, how about you? How about Ignaza? Not much damage. Which means he fire damage does not really work against this guy too much. Let's cure. Uh-oh. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I have to hope uh, Isis can keep up with the healing at this point. Let's see, do we have any Quicken Scrolls? I got one. Uh, hard to choose at this point. I think I'm actually going to try and live without it if I can. So fire doesn't work. How about ice? Not much better. Crime strike. 800 damage. Ouch! Two thousand damage. Very nice. Almost the same for you. They're mages. Very good. Now let's see. I'll take that. And right again, she's hurt again. Well, only one left is Thunder. How about that? Wow, magic, I guess, is not effective of any kind. Well, he's almost almost dead already, so let's just check, see if we can finish him off. Ooh, Zerio just barely lives. Now we should be good. How about you just attack? <laughs> That's the worst of all of them. But we should be good now. I should do it right there. Yep! We got him! Hooray! Didn't need to use a quick and scroll after all. Look at the rewards, 10,500 staring coins, and 15,000 experience, and Major's almost leveled up there again. And there's a drop. Got an elixir and an intellect boost. And they're gone. I'm gonna definitely recommend to heal up with the crystal shard there. And again, save your game. Let's proceed down off the mountain. And it's raining here. Hmm. Thunderstorm. Only place we can go is south, and I believe the battle meter actually is going a bit higher. Oh, we actually can't go south. Let's save the game. It's a barrier. Can't get past it. But we have to. So the only place we can go is east. So, let's go ahead and go east. And into the castle. Castle Valdrace. Valdrace. It's a big castle. Oh, it's something on the top of the ta on the castle there. That's not good. I like the music here a lot. Let's get in there and kill them all. While I would normally agree with that sentiment, Sapphire, we have our priorities. We must first risk Galena. We're going to have to fight a way to get to her. That is a given. Let's get through these guards and get to Galena. 
first, again, absolutely save your game. And it's at this point where I'm going to end the episode. And in the next episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate Complete, we're going to go ahead and storm Valdry's castle to go ahead and see if we can rescue Galena Gray. And with that, this is probably 22, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments, please leave them in the section below. And hope to see you again next time. Alright, bye.